Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Galatians chapter 2. Galatians 2, verse 20, and Galatians 4, verse 6. Are you there? This is 20. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live now, live in the body. Let me repeat my reading. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live now, live in the body. I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 21. I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness could be gained through the law, Christ died for nothing. Praise the Lord. This is a confession of a child of God. Remember the message I was sharing with you. Jesus is the power of life. Immediately you become born again. It is no longer you who is living, but Christ himself in you. It is no longer me. It is no longer you who is living. It is Christ himself. Are you there? I do not set aside the grace of God. For if righteous could be gained through the law, Christ died for nothing. Confessing Christ with our mouth, without calling him inside, anything can bring you down. Anything can destroy you. Christ was unstoppable. Christ was unquestionable. Despite his life was full of challenges, the insult, the name calling, he did not pay attention to all those things because he knew that it is no longer him, but the Father in him. Same, same to you and me. It is no longer you who is living. It is Christ himself. The life that we are living is a life of faith. You can't say you are a child of God without Christ in you. Your enemies are, are watching and listening to you. By just confessing that you are a child of God, without calling Jesus inside you, you are telling that Jesus, you died for nothing. Let me take you to, so that you, you get the point. Let's go to the, the Galatians 5, I mean 4. Verse 6. Because you are his sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit who calls out Abba Father. 7. You are no longer a slave, but God's child. Let me end there. God sent his, his spirit in us. So if you say you are a child of God and you are not calling Jesus inside your heart, you are telling that Jesus, you died for nothing. Who is a child of God in this case? Is this someone who is committed to do the work in the flesh? I mean religiously? 
there are people who are very active inside the church. Not because they are calling Jesus, but because of the title they have been given. They are working to please those who give them titles and the people who are watching them. Tell me why you cannot go and consult a witch doctor. Tell me why you cannot drink beer behind the back of the church. Tell me why you cannot insult or fight or gossip. What can stop you not to do all these things is Christ himself in you. Because he is the power of life. There is no life in you and me without Jesus. Anything can destroy you. Anything can disturb you. It is no longer you who is living. No wonder why a witch cannot kill you. A satanist cannot kill you. They can scratch your body. But they cannot kill you. Because the power of life is inside you. Who is Jesus Christ in you. Make no mistake, people of God. If you are a child of God, Satan will not, you know, scratch your body. He followed our Savior. He said, if truly you are the Son of God, and he knew that this man is the Son of God. The Bible says that Jesus was full of what? Holy Spirit. But Satan followed him. Understand this with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Saving Jesus by the history without calling him inside your body is just a matter of time. Anything can bring you down. The people that you trust can bring you down. What you love can bring you down. But with Jesus inside you, you are like Jesus. No matter what you may go through, whether you are in poverty, sickness, failure, disappointment, Jesus is your hope. Jesus is what? So trust him. Don't just confess him. Carry him inside your heart. Tell your, your neighbor, say, it is no longer me who is living, but Christ himself. Say it again. It is no longer me who is living, but Christ himself. Because I live the life of faith. Faith always demands the impossible to be what? Possible. People of God, this is my message for you. God is on the throne. He is always watching over your life. No matter what you are going through, God is in control. Because it is no longer you who is living. The flesh is you. But the life inside you is Jesus himself. Thank you. God bless you.